Pew Program Director Mark Haywood, Vice Chancellor Professor Mamukreti Pakeng, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, good morning. I would like to thank the organizers of this event for inviting me to deliver this keynote address. I'm very pleased to join you to lend my voice at the launch of the 2020 South African Child Gage and Food and Nutrition Security for Children. In my various capacities throughout years of experience in health and development, the plight of children has always been very close to my heart. Long before the disruption of the COVID-19 pandemic, we as a country have been acutely aware that significant number of South Africans have not had, do not have access to sufficient food and go hungry on a daily basis. The extent of child malnutrition in South Africa has often been documented. It is with the stress that we learn of the deterioration exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent lockdown restrictions. Our child stunting rates show that we are lagging behind in nurturing our children. Stunting reflects chronic undernutrition and a lack of adequate food to promote optimal growth and development. Our National Demographic Survey confirmed that the proportion of children who are stunted has changed since 1993. The negative impact of COVID-19 has on household earnings and uh, prices of basic foods paint a very dim picture regarding any progress of addressing the chronic malnutrition of children. We salute the efforts and initiative of communities and, society, and civil societies that have embarked on to bring relief to the hungry. Whilst we acknowledge and thank the many organizations and individuals that have extended a helping hand, the need who need household so much more needs to be done. We cannot turn our eyes away from images that mirror the gravity of the hunger in our society. It is saddening, really saddening, to see people standing in long, winding queues of food, as we have seen in media reports. We know from the findings of the National Department of Health Ministerial Committee for the Mobility and Mortality of Children that malnutrition remains significant in defying and denying as a denying cause of child mortality, which is linked to one third of child in hospital deaths. While we may be distraught by, the, by these hospi hospital based findings, the larger burden of malnutrition lies in communities or families often hidden until later in life of the affected children. Malnutrition casts a long shadow on children and their future, robbing them of health and well-being, condemning them to continued health, ill health, whilst undermining their chances to learn earn and escape poverty. It is a slow violence against our children and we cannot thrive as a country when our children are shackled to life of hunger and malnutrition. This was acknowledged by our first president, President Madiba, Nelson Mandela, when he said, quote, our children are our greatest treasure. They are our future, close quote. Our children's right to food is, food is stipulated unequivocally in Action 28 of our constitution, Beyond Health and Development. 
Adequate food is fundamental to children's safety and security. Hungry children will go in search for food, leading them onto the streets and unsafe environments. Children who are hungry cannot concentrate and learn. Children who are hungry become vulnerable to negative elements who feed and manipulate them. Addressing hunger and malnutrition is not just a health issue. Hunger and malnutrition have negative social and, and, and economic impacts. Not enough food in the home has a negative impact and influence on family dynamics. And not having enough food as a community leads to instability and violence. The past year has exposed our food needs. The impact of the increasing cost of food basket and the consequence of uh, unprecedented circumstances that we have had in our lives in the past year. We need concerted efforts from society to respond to the need of our children, our citizens and future leaders of our nation. We need our ministers responsible for the food and nutrition security of the country to uphold the commitments of our constitution. We need to strengthen the food safety that has nets for our children, including the National School Nutrition Program and the Child Development Subsidy. Our campaigns for exclusive breastfeeding, our programs for food fortification and food supplementation and our social protection policies. And we need these to be effectively implemented and adequately resourced. In line with the recommendations of the United Nations and the support of our own National Department of Health nutrition policy, prioritizing children's and, safety guard, and safeguarding their food and nutrition security is imperative to protect their health, education and well-being, more so now given the neg negative impacts of COVID-19. Although the words of our president were directed towards our national efforts to contain the COVID-19 pandemic, they should also apply to our efforts to address the malnutrition much as much has been asked of you, far more than should ever be asked, and we dare not fail. Let us become that society that ensures that no child goes to bed hungry. I congratulate the 2020 Child Gate team for their hard work in documenting the plight of our children and food security and nutrition by providing the latest pro, uh, evidence. Thank you.